Hey, hey guys, welcome back. It is Vordy here, and we're going to be taking a look at the, a little bit of the event, how I'm farming the event, as well as we're going to be looking at uh, the new news. New news. New news. It's always fun saying two words that are right by each other. So there's some new information that came out this morning. Uh, we are all really much aware of the news that's coming out right now, but there is something new too. We just we didn't know when it was coming out and that they're going to be announcing it in game like this. I figured actually it was going to be announced probably a day before, but you know, the week of they're making it uh, public, which is good. So we'll talk about that. So this is the current party I have. I've spent about uh, four eleven pulls, um, and then maybe like twenty tickets or so, uh, and one four star ticket. And I have this is really the only units I was able to get, which is what you guys already saw me pull from the beginning. So nothing much has changed since. Uh, currently, I'm just kind of sitting around and waiting till maybe like on the last day, like just before the the collaboration leaves, I might do another eleven pull if I don't get. Tillith, so um, I'm kind of waiting for that. And the reason I'm not going ham on it is because I'm, I'm I've been reading a lot and watching what other people are doing. It is there is a lot of RNG involved in this, as you guys know, RNG is RNG, but the chances to get them are very low. Uh, and this is not me complaining or whining or whatever you guys want to say it is. It's just a fact. It's an actual factual thing. Is that with four or sorry three uh, four star units when you go to pull one and when you do actually see a crystal there's a about a 1.5 percent chance that it's going to be one of the banner units right so so far of the 1.5 percent i was able to get two uh sarah's so i i am considered to be one of the lucky ones considering that i was actually able to get some banner units um so either way it's it's still good at least i'm getting lots of points i'm not complaining about any of that stuff it's just that because Tilith is such a good healer, it's one of those things that everyone wants, and because when you don't get her, you're gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit sour, which is fine. What are you gonna do about it? So the way I see it is that I, I tried, I put in about you know three or four multi summons, and I might do one more, but that's really it. That those are the kinds of summons you put in on banners for five star units when you go and you do like five eleven pulls, hoping to get yourself the the five star banner unit because that's what you want. Um, so I'm about 250 individual pulls if you were to take a look at it. Uh, 250 individual pulls without a rainbow, uh, and that still holds true. Haven't seen anything yet, so we'll see if that's going to happen in this banner or the next banner, or is it saving it till uh, Titus comes out and you know I'm going to get him on a daily pull or something. This mystic daily pull that I keep hearing about people getting rainbows, but. That's not normally my luck. Anyways, so that's just me letting you guys know about my pulls. I am trying, but <sighs> no telleth yet. No telleth yet. So I think I got enough for one more. Uh, yeah, I got enough for one more. We'll do one more. I'll show you my points as well, how much I've gathered so far. And as always, I'll keep true to what I do is that probably near the end of the event or middle of the event, I will do a buying guide. Like what I'm buying. I mean... This one is pretty easy. I know, pretty sure you guys know what you want. All right, so I'll show you this. So we'll pick this guy. The good news about this banner is a lot of people have Maxwell and they've had Elza from before, from people who went ham before. Uh, so there is a lot of friend units out there that people are sharing that are the hundred percent, which is good. So in this case, I'm just going to actually auto attack. So my Noctis is evasion built, not hundred percent. He's very close to it. Um, so through this, even if everyone dies, he actually will not take any damage. Uh, if you guys looked into these units, especially the last guy, yeah, he does hybrid damage uh, from the looks of it, so he can't really hit Noctis if, even if he wanted to. Oh, and we got some metal cactars, girl! Oh yeah, children worthy of my creation. I love that ultimate. So badass looking. Alright, come on. Three, three, three metal, three metal kings, three metal kings, or just one metal god, that's fine. He's just gonna get destroyed. My name is Maxwell. One, 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 one. That's a lot of ones. He stood no chance. Um, the other thing is, it looks like Maxwell's trial might be coming out the second week. They haven't announced anything yet. Uh, but from the data mine from day one, it looked like it was in the game within a, with a harder difficulty. So expect to get Maxwell in week two. Uh, like myself, I don't have her. 
So I will be uh, doing a little video on that as well because I need her as well. So hopefully that'll help you guys a little bit if uh, if you haven't gotten her. The only the hard part is not the fight; it's the fact that you need to be able to summon Diablos, and uh, Maxwell's damage is all light, and the unit that is wearing Diablos is going to have minus fifty percent. Um, what do you call it? Darkness. So you want to put him on a unit that's immune or has natural hundred resistance to light. Somebody like Cecil will do. So don't worry, there's ways around it. 4,400. Alright, so let's take a look at my points, and then we're going to look at the news, and then we'll call it a day. Alright, so I've gathered... Actually, I haven't been here in a long time. I don't even know where I'm at yet. So I'm at 121,000. The only things I've picked up uh, has been the tickets. As I told you guys in my previous video, that's really what I was going to go for right away. Uh, everything else can kind of sit there and wait. I also picked up Scar Crystals, Sacred Crystals, because I keep forgetting and then I ran out. So I picked those up this time so I know. And uh, the Star Quartz and... Oh yeah, and the Shard of uh, Kelsus. Make sure you pick those up. That's a free 90... Well, not free, but it's easy 90 coins you can get. So if you have been collecting up to today, you should be at about 290. So two more days, you're going to be getting your Kelsus. I will be doing a video on the pull of Kelsus. Uh, the only thing about Kelsus is that I think in order to awaken him to 6 star, you're going to need more shards. So, it doesn't really matter. So that from now on, looks like we're we'll getting some shards for a little while for that free unit to be able to awaken him. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be pretty sucky, you know? Um, what else is going on here? Actually, I think I'm in a position to probably just pick these up. So I don't have to worry about them. So I'm actually going to pick up these really, the three important items for myself. Which is going to be the bur uh, Sun Barret. The Miracle Bangles and the Demon Horn. These are ones. These items are absolute must-haves, especially the two uh, Demon Horn and Sun Bread because of the Beast Killer and Demon Killer. You're gonna need that stuff. I'm gonna pick up a Vernard as well. That now I have another fire chaining weapon, and I'm gonna pick up the Ice Lance as well. Uh, even though these guys don't do a lot of damage, I mean those are decent. It's the elemental chaining you're looking for when you put it on a unit to be able to, that can wield a sword and you get those elemental chains really high. You're getting the normal chaining plus the elemental chaining and it's huge, right? And we don't really have a huge variety of these weapons that you can just pick up from anywhere. It's, they're pretty much put into a position where if you get it from the event, you get it from the event. Otherwise, you're going to be SOL. So those items you should probably pick up. Uh, they're very worth it. Um, and these ones here we'll talk about later. When I do my final push for all this stuff, we'll come back into it and we'll, uh, we'll do a quick test. As well, make sure you're picking up the ones necessary for the characters you want to awaken. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Alright, so now let's go take a look at the news. Let's take a look. Home. Let's pick up all this stuff. Actually, that's where it is right here. So, Vortex Hero. Five shards. Claim. I'll show you what, but I'm not just talking craziness here. Summon. Featured summon Kelsus. I'm at 290, so I think if you've been collecting from every single day and been logged in every single day and bought the ones from the King Monk event, you're gonna be at 290. So we need 10 more. 10 more. It's worth a try. You never know. Maybe I clicked and like, oh, here you go, Vorty. You've been a good supporter of us. Here you go. So today that's done. So in two days, so on Wednesday, I'll be able to summon for him. Uh, and then on uh, Friday, I will be able to have another 10, which may might be enough to uh, awaken him. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, the news. Let's cover the news. All right, starting down here, the big bridge. When you logged in this morning, you probably realized the big bridge is now live. The big bridge is the Final Fantasy V event where you fight Gilgamesh at the end. So essentially, you've got to go in there and clear the exploration events. Essentially what the exploration event is, you just run up the bridge and you have to fight Gilgamesh. So make sure you, you uh, actually go through all of it to try and get yourself um, some of these items. The beginner, okay, 100 Lapis. The Ruin Bell, I don't really, f I haven't found any useful uh, useful for this, so it's up to you if you really want this or not. I can skip that completely or just throw it away. Uh, for advance, make sure you clear that, get that free summoning ticket. Uh, pro Exploration is really, really good. The Twin Lance is a really nice item. It allows you to attack two times. So, put, whatchamacallit, putting this on someone like Cecil, um, 
<clears throat> allows him to gather orbs for you faster for those events where you need summoning orbs or limit burst it's really good on those characters and then obviously for beating the elite exploration event you're gonna get a 10% trust moogle easy peasy lemon squeaky that one is pretty good though so here's the big news actually that I wasn't expected to come so like so soon because I believe like late last month we got the first part of Corona I guess so here we go, second part of Corona, uh, we're going to be getting that at uh, Thursday on the 22nd, which is when the big update comes. So this is some of the information that they're putting in there. So I think every single day, like today, tomorrow, and so forth, they're going to be releasing more information, letting us know, right, uh, of all the things that are going to be going live as of, uh, as of the 22nd, because that is our patch 2.2, right? So... After clearing all the main stories up to the part where you get to grow in a shrine, you will be able to continue the story. I'll try not to spoil any too much from here, but I'll just read the stuff that it says, right? So, there are still monsters who would dare to stand in the way of our final fight. This anger, the, this anger of the gods, this presence, no, no, no way, it cannot be. Lakshim is here! So we get another Esper here, so Lakshim is pretty cool. Uh, search throughout Garona to claim the power of Lakshmi. 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 Uh, I, very interesting Esper. The usefulness of her, she does like an AoE heal. She says it right there, yeah. Alluring Embrace. His, uh, restores hit points for all allies. It just heals them to full, which is really interesting to have on like a unit that maybe, you know, is like a support. And then you need to get a heal, you can use that. So, right? It's not bad. I like that. It's way better than some of the other ones. To be completely honest, the, the most useful ones we have right now is literally Golem. It's either you're using Golem or you're, you're going to be using Lakshmi. Because all the other ones are either damage, right? Like even Carbuncle's Reflect is not very useful because a lot of the times it doesn't reflect what you think it's going to reflect. Uh, or it doesn't reflect on a unit. It only reflects one unit. And then when you like Kiraja yourself, you end up Kirajaing the healer. Or sorry, the monster. It's just silly willy. So in, in the essence, you're going to be using this Esper a lot, just like you're using Golem, until you get better ones like Fenrir or Bahamut, or until they kind of change the damage that our Espers do, so that you can actually use the damage dealing Espers more efficiently. So, very good news to be able to get this. I'm actually pretty hyped about it, uh, to be able to get another Esper, because Espers are really big in the game, and they should be used more often for, like, <laughs> the actual skills you use. It's just right now we don't have the ability to make them do a lot of damage. Alright. Exclusive equipment quests. So I've mentioned this back in the E3 coverage. Um, the story characters are going to be getting their own events. Okay? So, in the Dimensional Vortex, you're going to be able to collect these exclusive equipment, right? So following the maintenance on Thursday, which is the big one, defeat oncoming monsters and bosses. And you will be able to unlock gear for Rain, Laswell, and Fina right off the start. Equip Rain and friends with their character's exclusive equipment to unlock their true power. So, exclusive, exclusive equipment. So, for Rain, Rain will be getting Crimson Saber, which is the sword that he uses right now. Uh, attack 90, Fire Elemental. Enable Crimson Soul when equipped by Rain. Crimson Soul hit points and MP plus 30%. Pretty cool. And the fact that it says here, uh, Enable Crimson when equipped by Rain. It means I'm assuming other people can wear this these items. They just won't get the the passives on them, right? Uh, Rain's clothing or his uh, chest armor here. You're looking at defense 38, spirit 12, MP 10%. Enable push forward when equipped by Rain. Push forward means nullify blind paralysis and stone. And Rain's signia hit points 15% defense three for everyone. And then enable Knight of Grand Shield when equipped by Rain. And that. Uh, Knight of Genshield, gradually restore MP during battle. So he gets a 5 star base uh, bonus there, which is really cool. So he'll get his little MP there, which is not bad. And it's actually not that bad of an item either. And Laswell will finally get his chance to use Purple Rain. Purple Rain is attack 92. Enable Azure Soul when equipped by Laswell, which does attack plus 40%, which is really nice. Laswell clothing, or Laswell's, Laswell's cloth. Which is his armor, enable, at oh sorry, attack 10, 38 defense, 12 spirit, enables absolute security when equipped by Laswell, uh, and that does nullify sleep, paralysis, and confusion, and his insignia is same thing, attack 15%, defense 3, gradually restores MP during battle. And then last one here that we're getting for now is going to be Fina. Fina's exclusive weapon is Reincarnation, which is her uh, bow. 
She gets attack 45, spirit 68, which is huge, bird killer, which is alright, enable girl of rebirth when equipped by Fina, and that is MP plus 40% to her. Her armor is 35, defense 25, spirit hit points 10%, females only, that's too bad. Uh, and what it does is it nullifies sleep, silence, and paralysis. And then Fina's insignia is MP 15% instead of the hit points and defense. And then you will get Bloom, or Eternal Bloom, which gives you gradually restores MP during battle. So overall, that looks really, really good. This is kind of what it looks like in the Vortex here. Unit set equipment quest. It's called Training the Soul. And when you click on the Training the Soul, you're going to get three more new windows. And it'll show you the character you're looking at. Alright, on top of that, nope, not Warrior of Light 6 star. So sorry, too bad. So you are actually going to be getting Fina's 6 star awakening. So we can take a look at that a little bit later to see how useful that's going to be. But there's another 6 star. So she's going to be up there with Laswell and Rain now. And then they also introduced or introducing talking about expeditions on the global, ex uh, which is the global exclusive event thing. It's essentially you send your units out to do quests for you. So it sends here, it, or send, it says here, send your idle units on expeditions to bring back treasure. All units that embark on expedition will also receive experience. That's pretty cool. So you can passively level up those characters that you're sending. So it shows here, select an expedition, which one you want. It already tells you what item you're going to get. Uh, and it shows you unit experience that they're going to get. Shows your relic times four recommended series. Uh, oh, so if you put in an actual series, you might actually get bonuses. At least that's what it looks like. Uh, that's what it says here. FF type zero, from what I can see, and it says here success rate is ninety percent. So thirty percent for each of the characters, and you get a ninety percent chance of success rate. Uh, and then it says here polar tournament, selected units, brilliant rate times two. Okay, success rate 100. Okay, select units and resources. So if you give them some resources, they can it'll bump it up to 100%. It tells you it'll take one day and 1,200 or is it? Yeah, it looks like 12 12,000 gil. Like it, it's very small. I can barely see that. Uh, an expedition has to be funded. Oh, so you have to one day and you have to fund it by 12,000. An expedition has to be funded and the units only return after the specified amount of time has passed after the player has verified the result of the expedition. So those units are not, you're going to not be able to use them till they come back. So that's exactly what that means, which, we, which is what we figured. Uh, so, so when they come back, this is completed, you tap it, you're going to see a chest, tap the chest. It tells you what you get in the chest. It shows here they got some RNG, some energy times 10. Relic, and I can't really make out what the hell that other thing is, but it says great success. Uh, includes Trust Moogles, uh, so rewards or Trust Moogles, Ability Enhancement, Chris, Mega Site, Awakening Materials, and much, much more. Also, there's a featured reward you can get in there that you can unlock, which is called Adventurer pl Plus 4, Boost Attack, Defense, and Magic and Spirit by 40%. <laughs> what? What are you saying? What are you saying, man? What is that? That is a that is a ridiculous item. I'm gonna assume it's very hard to get, and it's super RNG-ish, like trying to get Tilith. Okay, but there's some pretty cool cool things here. This here is very new here. It's a little pot, almost looks like a something in a bottle. But a lot of interesting things are being brought here, which is good. And then uh, for access and expedition. It's going to be on the little bottom part of your screen where all your other things are like Vortex or whatever. It's going to look like a giant little, uh, uh, what do you call it, a compass, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for, day, for today. I expect some more uh, news tomorrow and the day after, right up to the day when we receive the update. And some other things after the update letting us know of all the changes. So make sure you stick around for future content here on the channel. As well as make sure you read the news in case you're looking for a little bit more in-depth information. And don't forget to visit Final Fantasy Brave Exit, uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exit's Reddit as well if you want to hear and see what the community is talking about as far as far as these things as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around, guys. Let me know how you guys are doing in the event. Are you collecting a lot of coins? Uh, have you had? Did you get your chance to get Tilith? And uh, have you picked up the items that I just picked up, which is going to be the Demon Horn and you know the Barrette and the uh, and the Bangles, right? Well, let me know. How that's going. Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking around. I will see you guys in the next video. This is Vordy, and I'm out of here. Peace!